read more. In our information age, we are inundated with all sorts of tidbits of information flying at us and it might seem like we are reading more than we once did. But reading news blogs and emails is not the same as getting immersed in novel and reading helps to give the brain something new to chew on. New ideas, new concepts, a mystery to solve or even trying to remember character names and subplots all help keep your brain at its best. Not only it is important to feed the brain good nutrients, but you don't want it to rehash the same thoughts over and over again. So it's important to give it new information regularly, preferably daily. Feed your brain. The food you eat has a direct effect on your brain, which is why it's essential to eat foods that contain the proper antioxidants for brain health. Many of the foods on our extensive list of superfoods contribute to a healthy brain, so this is a good place to start. The reason they are so important is that they help the body defend against free radical damage, which can have a big impact on degenerative disorders that specifically target the brain. Battling back is an important step for overall neurological health. Stay positive. It's important to try to keep a positive outlook in order to keep your brain healthy. In fact, the two go hand in hand. When you are more positive, your brain releases different chemicals that allow you to feel even better. When you have a negative outlook, your brain doesn't release these endorphins and you are less likely to feel better going forward. It's better to get a positive spiral going so you can lift yourself upwards rather than run yourself into the ground mentally. Use music. Music is almost magical the way it can alter your mood, either making you sad when you otherwise weren't or getting you revved up if you were calm and relaxed just moments ago. There are even certain types of music that can aid into concentration and focus and you can use these to your advantage to help keep your brain growing and learning. Try listening to Baroque music while studying and see if you notice a difference. There are also playlists on YouTube specifically for studying and concentration. Each person has their own music tastes and responds differently to different types of music. So it's a matter of finding out what works best for you.